member of the Knighton District Refugee Support Group. A lot of other members from the group are here tonight. You can see some of the work we do on the display boards that are back in the bar there. I'd like to start by briefly talking about the work of the Knighton District Refugee Support Group. We support refugees in many different ways, including organising activity days, which we've done here at the community centre in the past, for refugees, fundraising, supporting organisations on the ground in France, in Greece, in Eastern Europe, raising awareness in our own community of the plight of refugees and asylum seekers, and supporting the work of groups such as Safe Passage, which campaigns to help unaccompanied child refugees to access legal routes to safety. Now, obviously we wholeheartedly welcome the fact that the UK government has introduced a sponsorship scheme for Ukrainian refugees. Some families and individuals have already arrived in the area. We've got two families now living in Prestine. But at the same time, we mustn't lose sight of the fact that the UK government has done everything it can to avoid its responsibilities towards refugees. And indeed, it's doing its best to create a hostile environment for anyone seeking refuge in the UK. By the end of 2018, the UK was home to just 126,720 refugees. And to put that into perspective, in the same period of time, there were 3.7 million refugees in Turkey, nearly a million refugees in the Lebanon, and 40,000 refugees in Greece. Priti Patel's Nationality and Borders Bill, which unfortunately has now passed into law, seeks to criminalise asylum seekers arriving in the UK and push them, quite literally, back into the sea, which is contrary to international law, and to send them to offshore detention facilities, such as the one in Rwanda that they're now talking about, and to grant fewer rights to those who are eventually recognised. Under their plans in the Borders Bill, Ukrainians arriving in the UK to seek protection will be considered criminals, denied the right to seek asylum, and face being sent to these offshore detention centres. People who have managed to reach the UK and are currently seeking asylum are not allowed to claim benefits or work in the UK. They can apply to receive asylum support at a rate of £5.66 per day. They wait for months, or years for decisions to be made on their claims, and in the meantime they live in crowded, damp, unsafe housing or camps, such as the one in Pen uh, Penale in Pembrokeshire, which was actually closed last year by the authorities because it was deemed filthy, run down and unsuitable. By the end of March last year, Powys had resettled a total of 122 Syrians, it has also welcomed three families of Afghan translators of the British Army as part of the Afghan resettlement programme. And uh, thinking about all of that, as we meet here today on this great event that's been organised here by night, I'd like us to think about how we can welcome more such refugees into our community, not just Ukrainians, all and any refugees, and how we can continue to campaign against the government's hostile attitude and policies and help all refugees by joining the fight for a more welcoming future. And finally, our ultimate objective, that of our group, should be of our community and humanity in general, should be to put an end to all wars and persecution, which result in people having to flee their homes. Peace across the world would mean that we wouldn't need events like this or groups like ours. So thank you very much for being here tonight, and just a brief announcement that the Knighton District Refugee Group is holding a fundraising event on the 21st of May at Garden Party between 2 and 4 in Clanfair Waterdeen. If you'd like to come to that and support us, that would be great. And do have a look at our display boards at the back there, we've got a lot of information. Thank you.